Namaste. I'm from India, and India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. It has contributed to the world concepts such as yoga, Ayurveda, spicy chicken tikka, <laughs> and Vedic math. Vedic math is one of the world's easiest and the simplest way to do math. We're going to combine together and do some number crunching today. So we, what we're going to first do is multiply by 11. We're going to do it together. So if you blink, you're going to miss it. So just watch it, OK? So we're going to do 32 times 11, OK? So we split 3 and split 2, and we add 3 and 2, and paste it on top, and we get the answer as 352. <laughs> That's it. Let's try the other sum. 45 times 11. That's your, exactly. That's 495. And 75 times 11. So it gives you 7,125. One gets carried over, and it becomes 825. That's how simple it is. OK, this is the principle behind it, where uh, A is the coefficient. Let's move on. <laughs> OK, now what we're going to do is the base method. OK, this is used to multiply numbers very close to the powers of 10, like 10, 100,000, and so on. So we have a sum here, say 99 times 97. OK, now tell me. Is 99 more than 100 or less than 100? Less. less by how much? One. So we write minus 0, 1. And 97 is less than 100 by how much? Three. So we write minus 0, 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross subtract and get the first part of the answer, like this. So we're going to do cross subtraction. 97 minus 0, 1 would give us 36. And we multiply 0, 3 times 0, 1 vertically, and we get our answer as 0, 3. Let's take another sum. Try and do it yourselves. We got 98, which is, is it more than 100, less than 100? By how much? And 97 is 3. So we got 98. We go crosswise. We got 98 minus 3. Or we could do 97 minus 2. They all give you the same answer. So that would be giving us 95. And the second part would be 0, 06. So that's our answer. OK. Let's take a bigger number. Let's try this one. Here, the base is 1,000. So we got minus 0, 0, 004. And 997 would be? Minus 0, 0, 003. We go crosswise like this. And we get 996 minus 0, 0, 003 would give us 993. And 0, 0, 004 times 0, 0, 003 would give us 0, 1, 2. And that's our answer. Thank you. 14 times 12. OK, here. The base is 10. OK, so is 14 more than 10 or less than 10? More. More, so we got plus 4. And 12, we got plus 2. Again, we apply the same rule. So we do 12 plus 4, which gives us 16, like this. And we multiply 2 and 4. That gives us 8. So now, all of us here, we're going to do mental squaring. OK? Everybody is going to participate here. And we're going to do squares of numbers more than 100 mentally right now. So we got 101. OK, now visualize on the board what's going to be on the right-hand side. Plus 0, 01. So we got that. OK, now we add crosswise, right? Yes, no. So we got 101 plus 0, 01. That would give us 102. And see here, like this. And 0, 1 is getting squared, right? So that would give us 0, 1. And that's your answer.
Try the next one. <laughs> Let's try. 102 squared. Let's try everybody. So 100. So 102 would be 10404. OK, now the next one. Try it, everybody, together. I'll give you five seconds. OK, let's, let's say it together. Let's say it together. OK? 10609, and that's the answer. Woo. 104 squared. How much would that be? Calculate five seconds. Come on, girls at the back. OK, so the answer would be 10816. OK, let's do the next one. 105 squared. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to try over. We're going to try over, OK? OK, I'll give you five seconds. Just think about it. OK, now we've got to go, OK? 1, 1, 0, 2, 5. OK, let's go to do the next one, 106 squared. Try it. Come on, everybody. It's simple and easy. OK, let's do it one more time. 1, 1, 2, 3, 6. Now, 107, think. Hold on. Don't say anything aloud. Just think mentally. 107 squared. OK, now let's say it aloud. 1, 1, 4, 4, 9. And 108 square. One, one, six, six, four. Fantastic. Oh, give yourself a round of applause. Come on. <laughs> and this is the principle behind this, where A and B are the excesses or the deficiency from the base. Now I'm going to teach you, in Vedic math, there are 16 sutras or word formulas. Okay, they're very visual, and one of them is called vertically and crosswise, through which you can multiply any number by any number in a single line. So I'm going to do two-digit by two-digit uh, multiplication. Let's do this. So we got 31 times 12. Okay, so we're going to apply the vertically and crosswise sutra. So we're going to do like this, vertically. Then we're going to go crosswise. And then we're going to do vertical again. So 2 times 1 gives us? 2 times 3 gives us? And 1 times 1 gives us? 6 plus 1? 1 times 3 gives us? And that's it. And that's our answer. No more tedious calculations. No more going to the rough work. It's simple in one line. I'm going to show you a, a sum again, this time with carryovers. The same formula. All of us here can do this, OK? Same formula. So let's go start it. 4 times 2 gives us? OK. Now we go crosswise like this. So we're going to multiply 4 times 1. And 3 times 2, 4 plus 6 gives us? So we put down 0, carry 1. And 3 times 1 gives us? Plus 1? Exactly. That's our answer, 408. OK. Thank you for being such a participative audience. And we had a great time number crunching. Now I want to end with a question. Whether you would like maths to be dull or boring or fun and interesting, the choice is yours.